Welcome to the Discovering Emacs podcast. This is episode three, and today I'm going to share some of the ways I utilize Emacs's incremental search during my workflow. In addition, I'll share some configuration recommendations that you might also find useful. Displaying the number of matches in the mini buffer. By default, incremental search does not provide any indication of the total number of matches that were found for the current search term. It also doesn't show us how many more matches we can navigate forward or backward before wrapping would occur. Luckily, there's a configuration option that solves both of these issues. Setting the option iSearch lazy count to a non-null value will provide an indicator in the mini buffer that shows the total number of matches found and how many more lies ahead or behind the current match. Having the mini buffer display the total number of matching terms helps me a lot in terms of awareness. Knowing exactly how many matches were found and how far along I am is a great convenience and helps with my intuition when navigating through a file's source code. Making use of the search rings. Incremental search does also have a search ring. The search ring is basically just a list that contains your previous search terms. Having the option to bring back some of your previous searches is a major time saver and I find myself using it all the time. The way in which you navigate the search ring is by simply pressing meta P to advance and meta N to retreat. My typical use case will be to activate incremental search by pressing control S and then immediately hitting meta N repeatedly until I find the previous search term I'm looking for. Please also be aware that there's actually two search rings, one for regular searches and another for regular expression searches. By default, both of these will store a maximum of 16 search terms. You can, however, customize the size of these rings by using the following two configuration options, search ring max and reg exp hyphen search ring max. Using its yanking capabilities, Incremental search has the ability to yank things into the current search string. This is by far one of the features I use the most and not just for searching purposes. The most common yanking option is to make use of Ctrl and W to pull the word that's in front of the cursor into the current search term. Let's go over a practical example. You place the cursor in front of two separate words that you would like to search for. First, you activate incremental search by pressing Ctrl S, and then you press Ctrl W and the search term will expand. So it includes the first word. Pressing Ctrl W a second time will pull the next word into the search term. The incremental search now contains both words, and so you can continue jumping to other matches by pressing Ctrl S. It's almost like the selection expansion feature you might find in other code editors. I find myself using this feature to quickly yank one or more words so I can perform a quick search, do a query replacement, or simply do a basic yank. Here's some more yanking shortcuts you can use. Control meta and Y can be used to yank one character at a time. Control meta Z can be used to yank up until a character. I sometimes use this inside of long strings to yank everything up until the ending quote. Meta S and Control E can be used to yank the rest of the line. Emacs 27.1 added the option to make all standard movement keys automatically perform yanking operations when incremental search is active. I don't personally use this, but you can try it by setting I search yank on move to a non-null value. One other set of key bindings worth mentioning here is Control Y and Meta Y. They allow you to take an entry from the kill ring and append it to the current search term. So if I wanted to search for something matching the previous kill, I can simply activate incremental search and hit Control Y. You can also use Meta Y to cycle through earlier kill ring entries. Performing quick query replacements. This might be common knowledge, but I think it's still worth mentioning that you can transition from incremental search to query replacement 
by typing meta and the percentage sign. And with the aforementioned yanking capabilities, you can use incremental search as a convenient precursor to query replacement. Jumping to the first and last match. Sometimes after starting a search, you might want to navigate to the very first or last match. You can do this by pressing meta S, meta left angle bracket to jump to the beginning and meta S, meta right angle bracket to jump to the end. You can also set the option I search allow motion to enable the standard vertical motion key bindings of meta left angle bracket to go to the beginning of the buffer, meta right angle bracket to go to the end, control V to scroll up and meta V to scroll down. Triggering occur from incremental search. Another great way to make use of incremental search is by using it as a precursor to occur. You can use the current search term as a regular expression for occur by pressing meta S and O. Use this if you need to make changes to some of the matches by directly editing them inside of occur. In conclusion, incremental search can be used for much more than just searching. It can be utilized to become a convenient little helper. And once mastered, it becomes a great precursor to many additional operations, ultimately making things more intuitive and faster to perform. As always, you can find a link to the episode's detailed show notes in the description of this episode. And if you have some suggestions, corrections or need help, please feel free to open a new discussion in the discussions section of the podcast's repository. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for the next episode of Discovering Emacs.